Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Shatera Latrice and so today's video will be me showing you how I create my crepes for breakfast. Um, this recipe is inspired by Matt in the Kitchen. Um, so if you guys would like to see more then just stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add three eggs to a bowl. Um, some recipes you can add up to eight eggs that I've seen. But three just seem enough just to keep this recipe um, more on the cheaper side to create. So go ahead and add the three eggs and then you're going to add one and a half cups of milk. And I'm also going to link his recipe at the bottom just to give him his credit um, because he is the one who showed me how to create this recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and add a cap of um, canola oil to this recipe and we're going to give that a stir. Now you just want to stir it till it's blended very well and it pretty much should be yellow when it's done. So maybe about a minute and a half or so. So next we're going to just add one cup of flour to the mix and we're going to give that a stir. Now you want to make sure that you blend this really well. Um, so that you don't have any bumps or any unstirred flour in your mixture. So just take your time and beat it well. I will go ahead and add in some oil to my pan and I will let it heat up and just keep it very thin. Now, sometimes my flipping sucks. Um, it just depends on how much oil I have in the pan. But yeah, just be patient. Sometimes they don't come out perfectly. And the tip that I like to do is just let the edges um, get kind of done and then I'll flip it over. And so once I flip it over, I don't let it cook for too long. I just almost immediately fold it over after about 10 seconds. Yeah. So you can see I'm flipping it fairly quickly. I mean, so they're super easy. You just keep doing the same thing over and over until you get the desired amount of crepes. Now, traditional crepes are very, very thin, but I mean, I don't like spending a whole bunch of time in the kitchen. So I just kind of make mine thin, but not too thin to where I have, they're like see-through. I've seen some where they're almost see-through and I just honestly don't have time for that. Okay, and so the last thing we're gonna do is just add Smucker's jelly and a little bit of butter to a mini. You can add it to a bowl, but this is all that I had that was small enough at the time because I didn't want to waste a bowl. But yeah, this is just for me, so it's only one serving. And normally I don't even eat all of that. So yeah, you're just gonna add these two together and then you're gonna put it in 
the microwave for increments of 30 seconds until they have um, gotten hot and melted the butter. Okay guys, so this is all for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do have chicken on my plate that was air fried and this is just a quick breakfast if you want to do just a little bit more if you have some more time and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!